August 26, 2024 Monday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Thessalonians Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the Church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought always to give thanks to God for you, brothers, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly, and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore we ourselves boast about you in the churches of God for your steadfastness and faith in all your persecutions and in the afflictions that you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering. That our God may make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you, and you in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response, Tell among all the people the wonders of the Lord. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell among all the people the wonders of the Lord. Proclaim his salvation day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. And his wonders among all the peoples. Tell among all the people the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord is great and highly to be praised. To be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Tell among all the people the wonders of the Lord. Alleluia Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice says the Lord, and I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia! A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. For you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you travel across sea and land to make a single proselyte, and when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing, but if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is bound by his oath. You blind fools! For which is greater, the gold or the temple that has made the gold sacred? And you say, if anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing, but if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is bound by his oath. You blind men! For which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Monday, 21st Week in Ordinary Time One of the ways we connect with each other is by praying for each other. If we were to look at our prayer, we would probably find that a lot of it is prayer for others, intercessory prayer. We pray for each other all the time, especially when we go to places of pilgrimage, like Lord's. At the end of this morning's first reading, Paul declares that he prays for the church in Thessalonica. I am struck by the content of that prayer, we pray continually that our God will fulfill all your desires for goodness and complete all that you have been doing through faith. We all have what Paul refers to in that prayer, desires for goodness. We desire to be good, we want to become all that God is calling us to be. That desire is crucial, it is something God can work with, as Paul says in that prayer. God will fulfill all your desires for goodness. God needs our desire. Our desire gives God an opening to work in our lives. No matter how many times we fall short, as long as we retain our desire for goodness, our desire to walk in the way of God's Son, God can work powerfully within us, and, in the words of that first reading, will be able to complete all that we have been doing through faith. A good prayer to make for ourselves is to pray that our desire for goodness would never weaken.